Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karamarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A slide with a frictionless curved surface which becomes horizontal at its lower end is fixed on the terrace of a building of height 3h from the ground as shown in the figure a spherical ball of mass small m is released on the slide from rest at a height h from the top of the terrace the ball leaves the slide with velocity u naught vector equal to u naught x unit vector and falls on the ground at a distance d from the building makes an angle theta with the horizontal it bounces off with velocity v vector and reaches a maximum height h1 the acceleration due to gravity is a small g and the coefficient of restitution of the ground is 1 by root 3 which of the following statements are is correct means multiple choice question and first option is given that u naught vector equal to root 2 g h x unit vector option b v vector equal to root 2 gh x vector minus z vector and option c theta equal to 60 degree and option d d by h1 equal to 2 root 3 and this question is asked je advanced 2023 dear students here we have using three concepts to solve this question first first we have using laws of conservation of energy second projectile and third laws of collision so all these three concepts including in this question let us find we have to one by one which options are correct. So first you can see that this spherical object sliding this curved surface. Then the total potential energy. What is the total potential energy? This is height is given that is h equal to 1 by 2 m u naught square. Because here we have to give this linear velocity in this component x component that is given that u naught. Okay. This is here we have to given that vz. In the place of y axis. So here you can see that mm cancel out 2gh equal to u naught square, then u naught equal to root 2gh by converting to the vector and multiply. You know that very well, multiply by unit vector. So here, what is the unit vector of this linear velocity? That is x. So therefore, we have multiplying x unit vector. Now let's see which options is correct. So here, first option is correct. Now after reaching at the point this means on the terrace then you can see that the height is given that 3h so now for uh, total height mg the height is 3h now m 1 by 2 m vz square then mm cancel out then 2 through the 6 gh root that is vz okay so here we get vz equal to root 6 gh now we have to find out this value vz and vx is given that. So now tan theta equal to vz upon vx and root 6 gh upon 2 gh then root 3 means theta equal to 60. Remember we have to take in this point here. You can take also at the point here also. Okay vx and vz. Same things we can say by using the parallel displacement okay a parallel shifting so now theta equal to 60 degree oh so here third option theta equal to 60 degree is correct now you can see that v vector here v vector means after hitting this ground and reaches up to the height this point then velocity become v vector so v vector equal to v x i plus v z here j okay so here what is v x you can see that in the place of i j you can use here x unit vector and z unit vector because uh, you can see that here x and z unit vector in the place of i z is given that so here x unit vector and z unit vector what is the value of uh, v x you can see that v x is 2 g h x unit vector and vz what is vz 
remember here vz means after hitting and reaching at the point here then using this point ve is the restitution coefficient and vz okay so it is z unit vector now substitute this value 2g h x here the coefficient of restitution is given that 1 by root 3 and it is 6 g h z unit vector now root 3 cancel out and uh, root 2 g h getting common x unit vector plus z unit vector so i think here this option is not correct and uh, or we have to go into further here you can see that this distance we can say that the range so this range we can find out by using x velocity of x component and uh, here time of flight here the time of flight what is the time of flight 2 into 3h by g and uh, what is vx that is 2gh this is also whole component is root so now 3 to the 6 h by g g g cancel out here 6 to the 12 and splitting and taking out from the root it can be written as 2 root 3 2 root 3 h so here we get d equal to 2 root 3 h and we have to find out h1 okay so what is h1 means maximum this is high now for this height h1 we can use this formula e into v e into vz whole square upon 2g and what is the value of e that is 1 by root 3 and here vz is 6 gh whole square upon 2g that become 1 by 3 6 gh 2g gg cancel out 2 3 the 6 3 3 cancel out then h1 equal to h so here we get h1 equal to h and d we have already find out 2 root 3 h and the ratio d by h1 here 2 root 3 h and upon h h h cancel out 2 root 3 so here option d is also correct so a c and d options are correct i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video and once again i remind you please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you